So I did a little research. I found out that this was a military tent training base for a few years in the early 40s for World War II. And I think they were training the troops to go to uh, Africa. So they were using this as a desert training area and they were doing live fire here. So that crater that I found is probably from a real, some sort of, uh, you know, some sort of munition that blew up the soil. And supposedly there's signs out here that warn about that. I haven't seen any of those, but it's cool. We saw the, uh, the reservoir, the old reservoir, which was a lot bigger than I imagined. Echo, come. Ah, uh ah. -uh, uh. Stay back. Hey, careful, careful. 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 I'm gonna fish you guys out of there. There's all these neat rock formations that the uh, the troops set up around their tents. It was mostly tents out here. And there's some old photos that I was looking at online and you can see where they put these rocks around to set up their camp. I don't know, to me it's neat. Like someone 80 years ago decided, you know, I'm gonna collect all the gray rock. I'm gonna collect all the gray rocks, put them out here, all the white rocks some sort of a pattern. I guess you got nothing else to do out here sometimes. So you make these little squares and block off a couple bushes, make it like a little garden area. So yeah, this is really neat. I mean, you can see this was their little entrance way. And so then the tent would be right in here. So there'd be people camped out in here and they have a path all the way around their tent. And this place was huge. I don't know how many people were here, but uh, apparently it was a lot because there's a lot of land out here and all these old roads out here lead to these various like campsites where tents were set up. Yeah, I got my Adam the Woo shirt on today. Check out his channel. If you want to see some, uh, some cool adventures, check out Adam the Woo. It's really neat being out here. It feels really historical. Although there's not really much structures, you know, I found a couple slabs of cement and that reservoir was pretty much all that's left. This is like the first piece of cement that I've seen out here. Um, so this, I'm not sure what this is, but there's not much to it, it's just a chunk of cement. But to see where uh, all the rocks had been laid out to separate the camps, 
I thought that was pretty neat because those rocks have been here now for 80 years to the day, basically. And they're still in the same, same patterns. You know, there's that star that was there, different pathways, walkways, kind of delineated with these, with these rocks. So it's pretty primitive, but it's, it's weird that they're still here after 80 years, laid out in the same way that they were during World War II. Oh, there's a big one over here. I'm gonna go check that out. It looks like kind of like a big circle. I gotta check it out. The dogs are doing pretty good. They're just following me around here. There's not much wildlife out. A few squirrels. I saw like one jackrabbit out here. Oh yeah, so you can see, this is more like a, like kind of rock piles laid out in lines. And so this is all original, original rock formations set up 80 years ago. You know, it's obviously, it's nothing fancy, you know, it's not, um, it's not, uh, you know, it's kind of recent archaeology, it's not really, you know, it's not from the Native Americans or anything like that, it's not that old. But it's still all here, basically undisturbed, and then uh, the plants are kind of taking it back. Oh yeah, it kind of goes back this way more.